what we call a magna gas um, refinery converts liquid waste into a gaseous fuel which we call magna gas. And here, uh, this is a very old machine. I built this about 10 years ago. All right, so this is basically an in-house unit that you're taking the local waste. Yes. Where is the waste be the waste being trucked everywhere, in? Everywhere in the area. Oh, okay. Everywhere else, but yeah. locally, yeah. so yeah. you're shipping your biofuel all over the U.S. Yeah. right now, right? And now primarily for metal cutting. Oh, okay. Because they clean uh, very, very uh, yeah. superior capability. But also we have to produce uh, hydrogen, a new type of hydrogen separated from money gas. Oh, that's this right. Well, it's yes. right because your hydrogen is, is totally Different, unique. Yes. I mean, that's the, that's the beauty of your machine is that it brings new physics. Yes. It brings new yeah. science and you actually turn it into something reality. Yeah. The people are always asking me, well, uh, Ruggiero can do all these fancy uh, yeah. theoretical physics. And have, but, have, but I always say, you know what? He's the only one that I could turn his science into a working product. We have Absolutely. the machine out. Let's go. Yeah. In. Yeah. Let's go in. So what version of the drive are we up to? We're up seven. In a, in a way understandable by everybody, the, this technology is by looking at lightning. Lightning that here, especially in Florida, uh, we, we see almost every day, and uh, particularly by, 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 looking, by hearing the thunder. The thunder is, uh, is, an, is a huge, uh, is a, as everybody knows, is an, requires an enormous amount of energy for, uh, for to create such a sound so loud. <coughs> and the, 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 that sound is precisely due to the to nuclear synthesis created by the by by lightning. So so this technology essentially reproduces in this reactor what lightning does in nature, synthesizes new natural element. In this process, produces lots of energy that creates the, 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 this enormous noise. Also, nature is, is benign. Nature, the, the, no natural process is damaging to the environment. And just by the, 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 so by looking at lightning synthesize new element, is evidence that, uh, that the elements can be synthesized without harmful radiation. The analogy is that the lightning and the air from the oxygen causes that oxygen to turn into nitrogen, which is the equivalent of your spaghetti bolognese. So the final product, the nitrogen, you can call it the spaghetti bolognese, and uh, the oxygen is your bolognese, and your lightning is your spaghetti. So the synthesis is taking two different elements, two ingredients for your cooking, put it together and ending up with a final product, which is environmentally yes. healthy and delicious to eat. This is like the next level above that because you also have chemistry, um, the nuclear aspect, so it's like a dream. Expose yourself to as many people as, as you can because as long as you supply the action um, and, and, and desire, then the resources will, will fall in place. I believe. Ruggiero is an absolute true genius. Yeah, that's, you know, that's absolutely. I don't, don't say that. yeah. I'm only a hard working guy, yeah. very hard working yeah. guy, that's for sure. I suggest we get some lunch and then we yeah. have the scientific uh, session. All right. Okay. Okay. Because the young guys need some food. Personally, I believe that uh, if they present it as uh, an indication, it's a question of language, if they present it as an indication that could be related to the uh, could be related to the expansion subject to study. This is a, a nice uh, scientific statement. If they uh, when, but they presented as evidence of the expansion, there's scientific corruption, and I denounce that scientific corruption. Now, give me a simple explanation <coughs> of how basically anti-matter life and anti-anti-matter behave, and why your telescope 
can actually observe this effect, this weird effect. Well, the, uh, Alex was part also the all those measurements, and maybe Alex can tell you something. What right. I am strongly against. Extra, 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 uh, lemon. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I am strongly against that. The the the. the the nomination, the reason for the Nobel Prize, which yeah. is political. Yeah. In any case, I come from Harvard. I've seen how they do the, um, how they organize Nobel Prizes. It's extremely easy to organize a Nobel Prize. You need a hundred friends in a in hundred different universities. You reach a consensus to elect this guy for for no, for the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Committee receives a hundred a um, hundred recommendation from a hundred different universities. Zack. And they, they gave the Nobel Prize. It's all fabricated in advance, organized in advance. It is my opinion that we are living in the biggest scientific obscurantism in the history of mankind. Despite of the glitter, the glitter of, um, of technological advances, we go to the moon and so on. It's all political organization to maintain Einstein. But Einstein was against the expansion of the universe. Einstein died without believing in the expansion of the universe, because it implies the Earth at the center of the universe. Yeah, That's so famous, obvious. Uh, so, so, so this is the situation. That's why we are living in. Uh, so, theory are based on power and not on physical truth. basically convert that into natural gas running from this clean biofuel, that would be a major environmental saving for China, and China desperately needs that. And I'm glad that Regiro actually is a global company. You know, it's not just obviously it's developed here in the US technology, <coughs> but it has installation in China, uh, in Australia, in Europe, and now he's shipping one out to Kazakhstan. This gas, Manya gas, can indeed alleviate, if not solve, the pollution problem in China. Why so? In very simple terms, when you see the, the, the when you burn coal, the combustion is only partial, and you have this black smoke coming out of uh, that black is an indication that is there is no, it's still coal, but it's not combusted. Now, Manya gas has an anomalous uh, uh, flame temperature, certified by City College of uh, New York, according to which Manya gas has, has more than double the temperature of any other fuel. Natural gas about 3,800 Fahrenheit, Manya gas 10,000 Fahrenheit. So when you inject Manya gas in the flame of, a, uh, of any, any furnace burning coal anywhere in the world, but particularly in China, what you see, you see the disappearance of the black smoke. So there's so much at stake, not only for China, for mankind, oh, for mankind. You've taken your theory and you've built an actual working product. That's why when people always ask me, you know, do, you know, do you understand Professor Santilli? Do you even believe it? I said, I don't have to. He's actually taken his, his mathematics, his science, and he's turned it into a real world product for the benefit of humanity. The idea is that you produce, you sterilize the liquid um, bio waste anywhere the liquid bio waste is. You don't move the, uh, the bio waste. No, you bring the machine to the bio waste, and you produce the fuel where you need it. Ruggiero designed something that is totally practical. He designed so you can basically put it onto a, a truck and drive this to a seaport, and this can be put into a, any standard cargo container and you can ship this to China. To, so Ruggiero is, is, is not just a theoretician, he's a very, very practical uh, experiment physicist. But I've asked, when will you get married? <laughs> oh, when? As for what? <laughs> when I find the right woman that is crazy enough to accept me for what I am. Um, that's a tough question. I mean, a, I mean, joking aside, uh, you know, I claim, now this is where maybe I'm stepping from the ego into arrogance. I am gonna, along with Professor Ruggiero, we are gonna bring new science into a new frontier. There is gonna be a renaissance of new science. And maybe that does sound arrogant, and, but I can't say it any other way without making it sound too eager to arrogant. But to me, that is easy compared to finding the right woman. 
<laughs> it's the correct answer. Unless you, you find the right woman, yeah. it's better not to get yeah. married. Uh, all right. Yeah. About this? Yeah. Right. Hey, Mike, can you take a picture for us? Oh, totally. Camera, please, Actually, I can print out a picture, a better picture. Oh, oh yeah, no, but this is on my, this for my Facebook camera. This is for my Facebook camera. All right, camera. Camera. everybody ready? Camera, yeah. Hold on a sec, we're almost, uh, we're overheating on this time.